What's up, Aquarian darlings? I'm Laurel, and welcome to the Rose Moon and this bitch. Join me as I read you your motherfucking lives, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, spirit, you are welcome in to this reading. You must sage the cards for my Aquarian gods. Okay. Let's see what's going on for the month of August 2020 for my Aquarians. We're going to find out what's crowning you all together. Now, as I was pre-shuffling, I did see, uh, what was that? The Ace of Wands and also the Three of Pentacles. So there could be somebody that you're trying to work together with. But I also feel like some of you guys might be losing some passions or there could be just some overall vibes that you're dealing with working together with people. Um, I did see suitcases or somebody moving some things as well. So let's see what's going on. What's crowning you? Very first card is the Four of Wands. Oh, and also the Knight of Cups. So a Cancer Pisces Scorpio could be very influential to some of you guys, I feel like some of you guys might be moving into different homes or there's just some stability that's coming around you or togetherness as well. Somebody's putting their new step into their path. Okay. <laughs> but I feel like uh, for some of you guys, there could be some love that's around with this Empress energy. It could be Torn, also Capricorn. I'm also getting Virgo here. But with the Seven of Wands, some of you guys might be barricading yourself or blocking yourself off from people is what I'm seeing here for the month of August. You might also feel like you have to, you know, stand guard and run your shit. So let's see what your life purpose has to say for my Aquarians. Because I'm getting that some of you guys are definitely guarded in a situation, but you also feel like you're ready to move forward. Or there is something that is new here, okay? So let's see what the life purpose has to say for my Aquarians. Oh, what's that? Oracle cards. You are able to discern answers and guidance for yourself and others. So you already know where the answers lie at. They lie within you and the Oracle cards that y'all be dealing with. Some of you guys might be getting tarot readings as well, but I feel like there is something that you're getting ready to connect with for yourself. Now, you also feel you're becoming more sensitive and needing to make changes accordingly. So there could be some things you're having to look behind your back. You're having to tell people to watch out for or, you know, tell them motherfuckers like, I'm a little sensitive right now, so back the fuck up, bitch. But I also feel like working with flowers could open your heart and bring blessings to others. This could be weed as well, too, Aquarius. You already know what to do, okay? But you also could be dealing with the enchantment of herbs, roses, things of that nature. So there could be some things that um, is very significant in flowers, okay, or herbal essence. I'm also getting love and light. Your purpose is bringing divine healing light and love to this world. So you know what's in your heart. You know what love is to you. You know the light and the guidance that you can give to others is going to be um, everlasting energy. Okay? So I do feel like there could be children that might be important or some of you guys are ready to take leadership. And it kind of helps you change your path. Okay? This could be a career path as well. This also could be a new home. Let's see what the romance angels have to say for my Aquarians. Here we go. We got stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. So this could be mother, brother, sister, uncle, cousin. Okay, that you need to get some guidance or just some experience in the conversation with what they've been dealing with. So if a friend could be phoning you, could be messaging you as well. Ooh, what was that? There was something that flipped. There it is. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life. So there's something going on within your stability. Either you've changed homes, you've moved homes. 
or there could be just a change altogether. Some of you guys might be guarding yourself inside of the house as well, but I feel like there's a lot of things you have to stay optimistic with. It could be that you're blocking yourself off with your partner, but there's a major engagement here. Express your love, baby. Okay, so let's see what's going down because now I'm curious. Straight like that for the month of August. What's popping for my Aquarians? I do have the Five of Pentacles energy here. So somebody's trying to either come out of the cold. You could be dealing with Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or somebody feels like you've left them out. And you guys are gradually moving together uh, with, you know, speaking on it. So, devil energy here. Definitely Capricorn. I'm also getting um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ace of Pentacles, Page of Swords. Somebody's definitely being impulsive. Like I said, there could have been a move or a change that's happened here. Somebody's trying not to do things the old way with this devil. Okay, you could be dealing with Sagittarius as well. Ten of Cups and also King of Pentacles. So I'm getting that there could be some things financial-wise you're wanting to see for the betterment of yourself. This also could be just emotional as well. But I'm seeing this could be with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, also, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. This could be in their sun, moon, or rising. But I, I'm getting that between you two, there's some struggles that need to be worked out, smoothed out. Somebody is needing to take the lead or somebody is leading too much and not giving the other person a chance. Okay, so let's see uh, how they feel about you. Justice energy here. Knight of Cups, once again. Okay, definitely could be dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I'm also seeing uh, Gemini in their rising or someone's rising here. I'm also getting Libra, Libra energy world. So you could be dealing with a fixed sign. I do feel they feel like things are definitely moving along. Okay, there also could be some hiccups or some things that might happen that somebody has to feel like they're juggling multiple people or they definitely are getting this gist of you all wanting to make things right with that star energy here. Now you could be dealing with astrology or you're just opening yourself up to learn about the stars, but I'm seeing that you're coming into a healing time and a healing renewal place. Now with that star, the star is the lead of the galaxy, okay? That's how things grow, that's how we become. The star is the first. So Aquarians, darling, I'm definitely seeing that with the star energy here, you're going to be taking care of yourself. Your person also feels like you might be guarding yourself as well. Could be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn that's wanting to go back and forth. I'm definitely seeing um, somebody that's wanting to make things work and make things right within the legacy. They might have gifts or somebody definitely has an offer for you with the six of pentacles, also the page of pentacles here. Okay, but they definitely feel like there's something you have to work together or work towards. You definitely have some real substantial um, stability coming up with this Ten of Pentacles as well. So like I said, there could be some things that are moving, but you guys got money trees up in this bitch. Also, Ace of Wands and Nine of Pentacles. Some of you guys are just ready to start a new beginning, a new passion. That way you can come into a, a stable, reliable relationship. I feel somebody could be married here as well, or there's a marriage that's being talked about. But somebody definitely feels restricted um, based upon what actions they're getting ready to take. So um, let's see about possible outcomes for you Aquarians for the month of August. All right, here we go. Possible outcomes for my Aquarians for the month of August 2020. Eight of Cups. Once again, I feel like some of you guys just keep having to turn your back on a situation, especially if you feel there's a lot of impulsive like activity that somebody is doing here. I'm also getting it's time to take a rest. It's time to take a break or somebody wants to take a break in the situation. You also have the Ten of Swords here. Wow. The Moon Energy and the Fool. So there's some secrets that's being hidden I feel like somebody's keeping their love to themselves, but they're definitely going to be displaying that here pretty soon. It could just be all of a sudden. Now, I'm getting some of you Aquarians feel like you're not going down the right path or you just don't know which direction to choose as far as love. There could be two different energies that you might be uh, separating or having to separate here. But I feel like with the Knight of Wands and the Hermit, 
It's like some of you guys feel defeated, but you have the star here. There could be some issues with healing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. I'm also getting Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or somebody that has a hard time uh, coming to their how they want to be displaying their love or their affection. But I do have the Eight of Wands, so I'm seeing there's definitely some sort of communication. Some of you guys might feel like you have to block some communication, but I'm getting that somebody is, uh, it could be at work or there's something going down at work that they're keeping hidden or they feel like they have to turn back around to go get it. But I'm seeing with this Empress, the Hierophant, there's somebody who's gonna be taking the lead. You have that Ace of Wands once again. Tower. All right, so there could be some changes that are happening with a Capricorn and a Devil. Yeah, this is definitely some sort of change. Um, but I feel this could be a, uh, an ending for some of you guys. Or there's somebody who's wanting to manifest a new situation. Okay, because there's some truths that's getting ready to come out. Could be some things that happen online. Or you just know the truth of what is successful to you and your partner all together. Because I have the Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So, Aquarians, Darling. I'm seeing possible outcomes. There could be somebody who's looking up, who's dating online. There might have been a move of some sort that could have been talked about or is talking, being talked about or has happened. But I feel like there's a decision that's being made to keep your options open here, Aquarians. Okay, this could be choices on your move or on in a relationship. But just be careful because I keep seeing that page of swords. Everybody is popping up. And somebody's reading and spying on their motherfucking ass. Okay. So let's see what the shapeshifters oracle has to say. Because I feel uh, some of you guys might have some major changes coming up. Um, it says, Atremus of the forest. Now you are an independent and free. So there could have been something you've been waiting for a long time uh, to free yourself. Like I said, you could have been waiting to move waiting to change relationships, waiting for a new income, whatever the case may be, but you're free, okay? It's also saying childhood treasures resurface. So somebody from your past could be resurfacing. There could be some things that you might be digging up from your past as well, all right? I'm getting like old animals and treasure boxes and shit from the past in your childhood but you also have a loyal guardian a magical protector is here for you so aquarians if you feel like you need a protector or somebody that needs to be uh protecting you a little bit more stronger i feel they're going to be doing that for the month of august now i do feel like um i do feel like somebody feels like they have to watch over you with that page of swords so just be careful with that. You guys are going into a rebirthing here. And there's a lot of vulnerability that some of you guys might be taking on. And to me, I feel like you know what you need to do for your safety, for your health, for your love, for your mental health. Okay. So I'm getting that some of you guys could be, you know, very obsessive over things that have happened in the past. But there's a lot of confidence and trust that you're getting ready to endure that's going to come to you that spirit has let you see and will continue to be there in your journey Aquarian. so there's a lot of trust and things that you need to either speak with your friends or get some sort of guidance or an outlet of some sort okay all right my loves i'm gonna get on out of here if you need to get a personal reading from me hit that description box down below check out my website the for any other magical purposes and deviation workings i'll see you guys in the next video